How to install or change my computer's power supply. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. I'm Philip Borton from Vista Technology Support here in Brighton. Today we're going to show you how to install a new power supply unit in your computer. Step 1. For this you will need an electrical screwdriver, an anti-static wrist strap and a power supply unit. Step 2. Static electricity. When working inside a computer, you need to ensure that you have no static charge in your body. That's why we use an anti-static wrist strap grounded to a suitable earth point. We have to do this because static electricity can severely damage components inside the computer. Step 3. The power supply. The power supply unit provides power to all the other components in your computer. It will only need replacing if it fails. To replace a power supply unit, you need to look at the sticker on your original unit. This will give you a wattage rating. This power supply is 145 watts, so a replacement one would have to match or be higher than this wattage. Step 4. Getting into the tower. To get inside your computer, you need to remove the right hand panel as you look at the back of the computer. To do this, use an electrical screwdriver to move the two screws here and here. Now simply slide off the side panel. The power supply is situated at the back rear of the computer. It provides power to all your drives and the motherboard. For more information on the motherboard, please watch the video jug film, What Components Can Be Found In My Computer. Step 5. Disconnect power cables from all the other components. So the first thing you need to do is disconnect all the cables. This is simple, just pull out the sockets from the back of the drives. And then the socket on the motherboard actually has a little clip which you just squeeze in and pull the socket off. Then everything is disconnected. Step 6. Removing the power supply. To remove the power supply, you need to remove the four screws holding it in place. These are located here, here, here and here. It's a good idea to support the power supply as you take the last two screws out. And now the power supply will just come out of the computer. Step 7. Power cable connection. To put the new power supply back in, you just need to reverse the steps. So reposition it, replace the screws and then reconnect all the cables. As you can see, there's various different types of socket on the power supply unit. The largest socket, this one here with the clip on it, is for the motherboard. There's only one place it will fit on the motherboard, so it's very simple to attach this one. The majority of the sockets have four, four holes in, like this one. These are for the drives. They can go on any drive and any socket can be used. The only other socket on the power supply is a small one which is for floppy drives. Again, this can only go in one way round. Getting going. Now you've installed the power supply, all you need to do is switch your computer on. If it works, then everything is fine. If not, then go back inside and check all the connections again. Done.